let's go ahead and test the workflow. So it's taking the URL, getting the video ID, went through the transcription, cleaned up the output, and now it's sending it to these three different uh, LLM nodes. Welcome back to AI Gentic Bros. And today we are going to be going over this N8N YouTube automation. Now, before we hop into the video, please check out AI Gen Desk, our AI automation troubleshooting tool. It's meant for beginners, it's meant for pros. It's trained on NAN's documentation and is going to make your life so, so much easier, especially when you're going in and starting to build out these more complex flows. So go ahead, check that out. Link is in the comments. Uh, also, if you're a beginner with AI, check out our AI starter kit. Uh, that will also be linked in the comments. So now let's, so now let's hop right into this video. This is basically a simple uh, content repurposing flow. So what you do is you copy paste your YouTube your URL. Uh, once you uh, record it and upload it, this is our vibe coding video. That triggers this flow. It then sends the URL to this code node. All this code node does is basically just extracts the video ID from the YouTube URL. It then pushes it uh, to an API. So the API is actually called Super Data. Basically what it does is it looks at your YouTube video and it transcribes it. So you're able to have a fully uh, transcribed YouTube video. After that, uh, the output from the API is not really that clean and I wasn't really comfortable sending it to any of these uh, you know, LLM chain nodes. So what I did was ask Gemini to actually come up with some code um, that kind of cleans up the text and you'll see that in action. I'll kind of run this for you and we can kind of see where everything goes. Uh, and then it sends that to three different LLM chains. Uh, we didn't really need an agent node because uh, that would have been a bit more overkill or over engineering for this. Uh, all we need was a simple LLM call, which is what these nodes provide. So we used a switch node, sends it to three different LLM calls. Uh, and I'm using open router to uh, kind of choose the model that I want based on the use case. So here we're using Claude 3.7 for the blog writer. Uh, for Twitter, we're using 4.0 mini. And for the newsletter, again, we're going to be using Claude 3.7. We're storing the blog in a Google Docs. Obviously, if you have somewhere to post it, if you have a WordPress site, you can go ahead um, and kind of post it directly to your WordPress that's already built into N8N. Um, with Twitter, the Twitter API is a bit hard to set up. It's, it's a lot to go through. So I prefer to kind of keep it simple, especially for a video like this. You can kind of store it in a Google Sheet. So I have that over here. Um, this is kind of my initial one that I was testing out. Um, and then uh, the email newsletter, right now I have it being sent to myself. Um, so we can go ahead and run this. Let me hide that real quick. We can go ahead and run this, see how it works, and then we can see kind of the flow uh, of the data and go over that. So let's go ahead and test the workflow. We'll run it with the same um, kind of, <clears throat> so actually, hold on. Before we do that, let me just clear this out real quick. This is what I was testing with. We'll go ahead and clear this out just so we don't have any. Okay, cool. So that should be good. Let's go ahead and test the workflow. Uh, again, this is in my locally hosted instance. So all we have to do is hit test workflow. So it's taking the URL, getting the video ID, went through the transcription, cleaned up the output, and now it's sending it to these three different uh, LLM nodes. Um, so it's right now it's hitting Open Router, it's writing the blog, uh, and then it'll kind of go into Google Docs here. All right, we could check here. Google Docs is here. Go back here, look at the Google Sheets, updated here. Um, and then it's writing an email newsletter. Okay, looks like we had something wrong with the Gmail node. Let's take a look. I didn't have it set up correctly. Let's do that over. Da -da. Um, it, will it run the whole thing over again? Okay, it won't. Okay, cool. So it sent that. So we could take a look at that as well. Always hit save and let's take a look. So as you can see, it's pulling the URL from the Google Sheet. Um, you can for the Google Sheet trigger. You can kind of have it look at look. You can kind you can have it look at it every day. So um, you know every few hours. However, you kind of want to set that up. 
then we go to the code node. So all this is doing is pulling this video ID out here. Then it sends it to the API. Now, um, the API is very easy to set up. All you got to do is set up a, an account with Superdata, um, and then you go to uh, you sign in, and it'll give you a curl command. It's very easy. All you have to do is import the curl, and it'll set everything up for you. You just got to make sure that the video ID is in the correct value. So you'll go ahead and drag and drop. Um, that from your code node that sends it. So this is kind of the output. It's not really that cleaned up. So it puts everything together and then it takes out any of the extra like JSON or, or any extra characters or symbols that were in from the API kind of cleans that up. So we have the full transcript over here. Um, and then the switch node, basically you could just kind of send it to multiple um, nodes after the switch node. Um, so we have the blog writer. We can go ahead and go over that. The rise of vibe marketing, how AI is revolutionizing the marketing landscape. In today's rapidly evolving digital world, a significant shift is occurring in how marketing operates. Solo creators and small teams are now accomplishing what once, re what once required entire marketing departments, and they're doing it faster, cheaper, and more effectively than ever before. Um, so it's this in markdown format, old world versus new world marketing, six core principles of vibe marketing, central tools for your vibe stack. So, you know, there wasn't a, a lot to write about, especially for a blog post in the video that we gave it, but you know, it may do with what it had. Um, it went over the dis different slides that I went over in the video, kind of gave it those different titles for over here. Obviously you can kind of get more into with the system problem. We can take a look over here look, we can take a look at the system prompt. You are an expert SEO focused blog writer. Your task is to transform the provided YouTube video script into a well-structured and engaging blog post. I also wanted it to keep between 300 and 400 words, so it's just not gonna be super long there, right? We can take a look at the Twitter. Um, we can take a look at the Twitter system message. You are a viral social media strategist specializing in Twitter or X. Your goal is to distill the provided YouTube video script into a powerful high impact tweet or a short two to three tweet thread. Uh, identify the core hooks, craft a strong opening, be concise and punchy. So let's take a look at the tweet. I would just have it in a different sheet in the same uh, Google sheet URL. So is this the end of traditional marketing? Question mark. Solo creators are now outperforming agencies thanks to Vibe Marketing. With AI automation and system design, you can launch 20 campaigns in a day. Rethink marketing. It's about building machines, not just doing tasks. Want to learn how? Check out our full breakdown and the links to the video. That's a decent enough tweet, obviously, if you want to have a different call to action there, or if you want to have a question that you post to your audience, you can kind of work that into your system message. And now let's take a look at our email newsletter. Look at the system prompt first. You are a skilled email marketer and community builder. Your task is to write a personal and value-driven email newsletter based on the provided YouTube video script for our, for our subscriber list. Um, we could take a look at Gmail. Obviously, uh, you would kind of have this formatted in HTML if you want it properly uh, formatted and stuff. We could take a look at the output here. Subject line, the end of marketing teams and why that's great news for you. Question mark. Hi there. I was reviewing some footage yesterday and had one of those. Wait, this changes everything moments. I just had to share this with you. Remember when running effective marketing campaigns required a small army of specialists? Those days are rapidly ending and it's creating an incredible opportunity for solo creators and small teams. Now you can kind of train this uh, here. If you want to make it more robust, I would kind of have an agent node here. You can kind of train these on best practices. If you follow Russell Brunson's you know, strategies. You could train them on, uh, you, you could train that for the email agent, uh, but this is so something simple, something quick. Uh, an easy way to repurpose your content. So you're kind of hitting multiple social channels all at once. Uh, I would kind of have a WordPress node here, a Twitter node here, and then uh, find a way to kind of hook up your email list if you want to send an email newsletter out. So that would all be automated. All you'd have to do is essentially paste your URL in here. Once the Google Sheets trigger kind of rechecks the sheet, then it'll go ahead, send this through, and it would all be automatically posted on um, you know the respective platforms that you want it to be posted on. Um, so that's kind of a simple flow, just a simple breakdown, uh, easy, easy to do, easy to follow. Uh, just a heads up, the API is free for 100 calls per month. Go ahead, check Superdata out. I'll have that in the comments as well. 
Thank you so much for tuning in. If you want to watch more videos like this or learn more about NADN, go ahead, subscribe, like, comment. Uh, let us know what you thought about this video. If you think this flow is useful, um, we'll be coming out with more content on YouTube automations, WhatsApp, LinkedIn, anything at ADN. We got you guys covered. Just let me know. Uh, go ahead and check out AI Gen Desk if you're just getting into building AI automations. Uh, it's an AI automation troubleshooting tool specifically designed and developed for any end users. Go ahead, check that out. Thank you. For, thank you so much for tuning in. Appreciate it.